What are we talking about in chat? What are we what are we saying? What are we are we talking? Are we talking hot garbage? I hope not. What is this about two people in common team know who don't play? <laughs> Actually, you know what, chat, you're right. That would be kind of funny. If we just pulled if we just pulled two people from the mall and just be like, damn. Damn, that motherfucker's feet moving fast though. All right, and it looks like, chat, Paul has turned in his pocket pick. He has turned in his pocket pick. There it is. I don't have what was swapped out. So we are going to get their warm-up, chat. Mm -hmm. But he's, he has turned in his pocket pick. He has waited until the end. That's a, that's a bold move. That's a confident move right there. All right, chat. All right, all right. But, man, what, how about that? Storm is back. The big deal is back. Bubby, I'm excited to be a Florida man for a little bit. Oh, I am, I am elated. I regret to this day not making it out to the last Storm. Well, now I you have another chance. I wanted to play in that Extreme Pro Tournament so bad. Guess and what? It's Daytona. Let's go away. Daytona, let's fly away. So, in case you're wondering, chat, you're asking, can you get Tag to commentate? Tag does not speak English. <laughs> we I would, hate, we I would hate love to tell it. you, Tag, we would, we would love it. We would love to get him on stream. He does not speak English. <laughs> we have had translators for Tag all week. Yeah. He's, he's been gracious, though. Um, chatted about everything from his music production to a little bit of uh, adult pops, if you will, oh, with the gang. That was that was pretty awesome. He's had such an amazing time here. Every, no matter what, every single place that you see him as he's watching, he was hiding in the corner during the dance rush freestyle competition, watching DDR, <laughs> and he just had the biggest smile on his face. Yes. Every time someone brought in, brought up something that was like a weird piece of memorabilia, yeah. or one of my favorites, the, the Superstar Mitsuru video, the a frame photo of, ever, of the Bimani sound team, he just <laughs> laughed and laughed. Uh, when we took the group photo, you might have seen it out on Twitter. If not, my God, that group photo is epic. It is, it is hype. Banging Bible. everything. We have a we had a superstar cosplayer who who yeah go ahead go ahead. So shout out shout out to the man shout out to Barry shout out to Krieger. <laughs> he got tagged to autograph his leg. He then went to the tattoo shop that is inside right next to round right one there. and got tags autograph tattooed over the the autograph. By the way, um, this chart is amazing. It is incredibly on sync, and it feels so good to play. And this song is goaded. This song is unbelievable. I like to refer this to this song as like Stoic 2.5. It does have that vibe, similar BPM range. A lot longer, though. A lot longer. Uh, <laughs> Makes it work a little bit harder. Yeah. Uh, it, it is one of my favorite 15s. It, it's, it's definitely it's, one of mine, too. It's such... It's not super technical. It's got, we were talking earlier, to a lesser extent, like on the Geki, those very consistent patterns. But it teaches you consistency. It's one of the big, big building blocks. And like I said, it helps, it helps it so on sync, too. Yep. I, like to, I personally like to use this song as kind of like a way for me to just like redial in my timing if I feel like it's kind of drifting. Yes, absolutely. That's a very good strategy there. <laughs> chat, chat. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. You're getting too saucy in chat. <laughs> I know we announced two tournaments. I know we have this DDR bus ass. And speaking of bus ass, here the fuck we go. We are busted. Let's go. I, I hear you guys like Konami original songs. So we're going to go ahead and pass one off to you. But why do we need them, though? Konami, songs, the following. Konami songs are the reason for the season. Speaking of which, <laughs> why hasn't Mariah Carey put a good put a song that's currently an ace? We need. I don't want to do all I wanted for Christmas Eve, please. I I don't want to hear that 365 days out of the year. 
I'm one of the gays, and I still don't want to hear it for 365 days out of the year. But I would like, I would like, I would like a classic from the Queen in this game. That if that happened and they got any Mariah Carey license. Emotions of DDR, bitch. I know. But speaking of which, I know that both of these players have a PFC on this, and they are within five perfects each other. Kevin on the P2 side has a 49 perfect, whereas Paul has a 52. <laughs> All right, chat, here we go. This is your grand final. Stand up, eyes open, let's, let's go. Let's get hyped. Chart begins immediately. Ooh, Kevin, Kevin picks up an immediate grace. He kind of looks down, so I'm not quite sure if that was his footing that he had to readjust. But Paul is happy to take it as he has a 12-point lead. It looked like Kevin might have hit a little bit of the bracket when he was trying to move his foot there. See if he can get his composure back. All right, Paul, actually, not only with the PFC, but one, but actually five perfects better than in his pace right now. He is looking to get an up score. All right, and here we go into the stop. Paul with the slap. We have a 20-point difference between the two. Ooh, the slap actually cost Paul there. Ooh, Paul's off. Taking a couple goods, a couple greats. Kevin is happy to take it as now we are tied. Kevin saw the opening. We were just talking about that with the Stoic story. Took a pulling out a little bit of a lead, but it's all going to come down to the final run here in the speed up. All Let's right, go, Chad. We are tied. Chat, it's going to come down to the end. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Don't blink. Eyes open. Just staring at the computer screen. Ooh, Kevin ahead, but it's not over. And Kevin Woo! comes back. 1646 to Paul. 1641. 58, 10, 2, and a miss. Oh, Paul was, Chunka was in the zone there. Had a good 20, 25 EX lead. Had a little stumble right after that slap. Sudden plus can make you lose your concentration for a second. All right. Kevin goes up, says, thank you very much. I'll take that right back. And as a reminder, this is grand finals. Kevin is on the winner's side. In order to win, Paul not only has to win three, to reset the bracket, but then win another three. So he has an uphill battle. But with this, Nagaki Noki CSP, this was Paul's pocket pick. Yep, this, he's been saving it for this moment right now. And, and he's good, he's dialed in, we've seen it. And it's, it's the timing of it couldn't be better, especially after that one. It would have been, it would have really been nice for Paul to be in a 2-0 position in the first round, going to the next song, but this is, his, this is one of his best chances that he has to just get a free equalization and take it to song three. Yeah, absolutely. As a competitor, especially you know you've got your pocket pick on your side. Take a moment, catch your breath, retool, refocus, get the job done. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. Paul with the yabai. Let's get it, chat. Second song. Kevin Bodie up by one. Couple deep breaths there from both players. All right, Paul showing that the expertise in his pocket pick is up by about three right now. All right, here comes the first section of jumps. Couple eighth note patterns. And it's quite crazy. This is actually a break for this chart. All right, Paul still up by about five right now as we go into the double style part section. Both players shuffling their feet, handling those hold notes easily. Now a little, again, heel toe action with the jumps to the two steps in the 16 toe pattern. Oh, and Paul picks up a great. Paul almost slipped there. Chuck almost slipped there. Still, still held on to his lead though. He's up by six. Kevin still sitting on a PFC right now. Both of them hitting a the crossover, doing it beautifully. Yeah, Chunka 
having a little bit better MA through these bursts. Oh, still holding on to his lead. Oh, but anything can happen. Oh, we are actually about to go. We are tied as we get ready to go into the burst section. Here we go. Couple bursts. Kevin Kempo. picks up his Kevin picks up his first. Oh, and he loses it right there. All right, and it looks like Kevin is just going to go ahead and bracket it, conserve his energy, and we're going to watch Paul finish this out strong. Yeah, very strong showing. Way to keep the composure there from Chunka. As he takes it, 23-25. All right, so Paul fires back, equalizes it. We have 1-1 one, one on the board as we go to song number three. Yeah, very good composure, like I said, from... From Paul? From Paul. Yeah, and it's 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 good of Kevin to recognize that ah, I can't, I, I messed it. So he just decided to just, as, we, as I was talking earlier on, with, like with Josh, that it's one thing to just actually like, you know, know that you're just, you need to preserve your stamina and just kind of like that's let the it. song go. Yeah. Time. But it's another yeah. to actually let your opponent see it. So it's wiser to just sit and bracket it. So that way you let your opponent just expend all that energy because at this level in grand finals, you're playing 18s, you're playing 19s. It's a stamina. You have to conserve your stamina. Your energy is one of your biggest resources. It's a huge unspoken metagame that happens. If you know you're lost, hedge your bets. You've got a long series ahead of you. You know Chunka has to, God forbid, wins that first set. Got to run it back on you again. So he the momentum right there, but the calories inside of that body might not be. Yeah, absolutely. And chat, this is a reminder. Speaking of calories, speaking of health, have you hydrated yet today? Oh, wait, hold on. Cheers for y'all. It doesn't have to be water, but please hydrate. We don't like thirsty bitches around here. No one likes a thirsty bitch. Plus, it keeps you healthy, keeps you lubricated, and we want the best for you. I hope you all are staying happy, you're staying healthy, and you're getting W's out there. As we go to Come to Life, CSP. So you have another song, just like Nagaki, very burst heavy. You have the, you have the slow down section, so you're gonna have to adjust. It's not constant like how Nagaki is. Yep, that, that slow down section, we've seen it before. We saw it in Max Period. Can throw somebody off, especially if They've been playing a lot of consistent BPM charts. It's a shock to you, no matter yeah. your chart knowledge. You could, you could have the 19 folder PFC, but putting that in the tournament play is a whole different story. Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna see if Paul can make this work and go up to one, be in a very That's powerful position, or if Kevin is gonna put the heat on. That's right, we are coming to life into song number three of this grand final. Here we go, chat, and we are off. Paul picking up a perfect really are early on, but now we are basically tied. All right, here we go, here we go. Both players nail the stop. Tied right after the stop. Here we go into the slowdown. Kevin has a one point lead. All right, to the speed up. We are one point differential. Here we go, Chad. Yeah, first big run. Oh, Kevin picking up a miss. But a lot of Marvelous is there keeping it within one point. All right, still one point. Very, very syncopated through this middle section of the song here. And we haven't even reached the slowdown yet either, so. All right, and Kevin doing a good job of making up for the miss early on. Only down by about four points. Paul, I'm sure, is not going to make it easy on Kevin as we hit this section. Paul trading a few perfects. Now we're only down by one, down by one. A lot of three. turns coming up through this next section. There they are. Ooh. Ooh. Paul, MAing that entire section. Kevin as well. We are tied. Here we go, chat. And the slowdown 
Paul still sitting on a PFC. However, it's down by two points in the final speed up of the song. Yeah, Chunka took a couple perfects there through the, uh, those 180 turns. Paul picks up his miss, which gives Kevin a 10 point lead. Yeah, Paul. And Kevin. That combo drop unfortunately cast cost Paul. It gave enough points. It gave about 15 points over to Kevin, who takes it 23-74 to Paul's 23-60. Yeah, that momentum swing. This has been this has been the story of the series so far. Momentum in the middle of the song. Back and forth, back and forth. You've been expecting that to happen in a grand final. Absolutely. But to this intensity though. Only here at Mistake of the Lake Fork, come on. I, I have to ask because we have a, a beautiful, a beautiful chef right behind us. Chef, chef Leon. Shout out to Fit Twix Leon Twix. Chef Leon, Stop. would you say that this is some good ass DDR? They said this is crazy. You heard it, you heard it from the actual chef himself. This is some <laughs> good ass DDR. It is cooking in the pot. Here we are, we are serving it to you right now as we go to Arabiata ESB. You know, we've had everything. We've had technical or technical skills so far. We've had soft land. Let's get some raw MA going on here. Why not? Mwah. I see it in the chat. I see the Leon fans in the chat. Mwah. Mwah. Chef's kiss. That's but here we are. Mwah. Spicy song. This might be the final song of the tournament. If Paul can clutch it out, we are going to go to the final song of the set. And then we have a reset. And then we'll have a bracket reset, or we won't. I, 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 I'm impartial. Who knows? I can't predict the future. All I know is that no matter what it is, this is going to be entertaining for you all. Kevin's been in this situation many times. All right, and Paul has the better PFC on this song with three perfects. Let's see whose experience can pay off the most here. Ready. Starts out er, immediately. Nothing too fancy in this chart. A lot of double stepping, though. That so being I said, that is that is something that both players are very acclimated to, which means that this is going to come down to perfect. Yeah, we're expecting single-digit perfects here. Yes, no room for error for either person. As you kind of see, trading perfects like that, yeah. Paul is in the lead by three EX right now. You know, one of the hardest parts about songs like this is you have a very large streams like this of eighth notes, and then you have those dun 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 patterns. There's not a lot of notes to keep your timing. That can throw you off for one or two perfects. All right, so Paul still ahead by three points. Kevin keeping pace, looking to make this tournament point. Oh, Kevin taking, that's what we were just talking about. It's a little broken up there, taking a couple perfects to get his timing retooled. Still within four, though. All right. Paul doing an amazing job. It could go either way. Here we go. Let's see if he's locked in as we go into the, the last section of the song. Kevin only still down by three. Here we go. Eyes open, chat. The eyes emojis out. And Paul keeps it locked out. Both players with it with a PSC, Paul matching his PB with seven perfects. Kevin with 13. That is a set. That is a heck of a set. All right, chat, we are two and two, double deuce. Two, you know, like when the wrestler, you know, when, when a ref counts that. One, go, one, two, 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 two. We are going to see it all hinges on this elemental creation ESP. If Kevin wins this, Kevin will be your mistake on the lake for winner. If Paul takes this from Kevin, we will have a bracket reset. Either way, folks, this is just some good ass EDR. This is gonna be This is gonna be intense. You know, we've we've had a couple of different skill sets within this set alone. And I feel like, why not add one more to it? 
He got the MA action and some of this, uh, some oh. of elemental creation, but then it's just so fast. It is it's just lightning fast. quick foot speed. Both players have a PFC on their record on this. However, Kevin has 13 perfects, which is pretty impressive. That's not to say that Paul's is also not impressive with 53 perfects. This song is a tough. This is just like how with Arabiata, how we talked about how you really have to dial it in. Mm -hmm. Elemental Creation is another song. Even though you do have a slowdown, it moves so fast that you you have to have your you have to have your timing completely locked in. Yeah, um, if if you're on, you're gonna stream 100, 150 marvelous potentially in a row before you even take one. The moment you get out of that, get ready because it's gonna be a world of pain if you don't retool your. Uh, all right. Paul is locked in. in, Kevin is locked in. Here we go, folks. Final match of the set. Potential tournament point for Kevin Bowden. Eyes open. Let's go check. Yep. Um, Shunka hitting a little bit fast early on. The timing on this is sick a little bit late compared to most other charts. So, again, little adjustments you gotta make here. Fine details for players of this caliber. All right, as we did say, this chart is pretty dense. Paul doing a good job of keeping within 10 points exactly of Kevin Bowden right now. Yeah, if you're in Kevin's shoes right now, just keep hitting the notes, keeping it smooth. You got the timing locked in and dialed. The game's telling you what to do right now, but you can't let up. All right, still within 10 points as we break the thousands on the X score. Chunka is ahead of their PB. Oh, falling a little bit behind there to the slowdown. All right, nine points. Sweet. And let's see where we are at the break here. But Kevin locked in with his with his oh. MA. Ooh. Chunka taking a uh, perfect on one of the quarter note freezes there. All right, 13 points. Can't wait to see it. Now 10. Yeah, Chunka. Paul got a miss. Yep, yep. I was just gonna say, Chunka got a miss. Hit the bracket yet again. Twenty-five points. And here comes more high-speed action for you. Kevin still sitting on the full gold combo. Look at those spicy steps from Kevin. Oh my God! It's like he's floating in the air. It's like he's a gazelle. All right, don't count Paul out. Yeah, he still have a little bit of song left. Just a little bit, here we go. Kevin with a lead, looking to close the door with a PFC. And there you have it, folks. Kevin Bodie, your mistake on the Lake Four champion. What, what a way to close it out there. 10 perfect. 10 perfects, another personal best. Another personal best in a tournament. That's been the story of Kevin all day, just popping off, setting wild records. 10, 10, count. Ten. Dialed in, tuned in, locked in, your champion, Kevin Bodie, the pride of Ohio.